Good morning, everyone. This is NCP. I've been kind of getting lately into uh, a little bit of astrophotography, and eventually I want to get into deep space astrophotography and see nebulas and stuff, but I don't have the equipment for that right now. But it took me a while to figure this out, and I, I haven't found this information on the net. I just kind of figured it out and asked people, but attaching a digital camera to a, um, to a telescope is um, kind of not straightforward. Or should I say? Um, I didn't really write a script today, so I'm kind of going. But here's the uh, the T uh, T adapter and uh, the T ring. Let me give you a pull this off and show you how it works. Um, this just basically slides in the back of your telescope, like this picture here. Okay, that's the setup I used the other night, which is the camera on there like that. As you can see, it's pretty pretty simple and straightforward. The camera goes in the back, and the eyepiece, the projection, and that's it. Now this is a very small telescope, more like a spotting scope actually, but that's what we did. So, let me get back to the other video. Okay, let me pull this off, turn my make sure my camera's off, because I don't want to expose the lens, or the uh, CCD with the uh, power on, because that's a very powerful um, electrostatic uh, attractor. So let me get rid of this, and let's go into this here. <clears throat> Basically, this is what you'll need to um, to attach a telescope to a to a um, I mean a camera to a telescope, and you'll need the T ring. Let me pull. Let me hold on. Let me back up here. Get that lens out of there. Eyepiece. I the projector. So basically, you'll need this piece right here. This is this is a T ring. This is what attaches to your camera. In this case, it's an F-stop one for a Nikon. Then you'll have your T adapter here. And this has two things. This is for a one and a quarter inch, I guess, adapter for uh, certain telescopes like Questron. And then they have the bigger adapter for the bigger telescope. You can usually just get this one and it'll screw in like that and you'll be good to go and just plug that in the back of the telescope. But I wanted the bigger one for multiple reasons. Um, one reason is when I put on the telescope like this and put the camera right in there, it always come up blurry. I just couldn't focus enough. And the reason is, no one told me, but you have to actually put the eyepiece down inside there. You, you latch it down and click it in there like that, so your magnifier, and it'll work like that. But that's what I wanted to pull, point out is that you have to put the eyepiece inside there. Um, there's no documentation on the web that I found on how to use this. So you just put the eyepiece in there and it gives you your magnifier. Now some have glass in them. Uh, this one I did, I went without the glass. Because some, some are part of a Barlow lens. But I didn't want to do that one. I wanted so I could switch out whatever I wanted in there. So there you go. That's a real simple way to hook up the telescope. And let me show you the image I got last night. Or not last night, I guess on the uh, 9th. We are messing around and got it. So let me show you that. Okay, here's a picture of the moon through that telescope with that setup that you saw. Um, this was taken on January 9th, 2014. So it's pretty good. It's good enough for this, but this is pushing it. This has been edited in the computer as well. I mean, you know, a 24 megapixel picture. So there you go. It can be done. This is a simple way to do it, and it's fun. I hope they get a bigger telescope and do some deep space thing like nebulas and such, but... There you go. Stuck so Pepper. Please rate, subscribe, and enjoy. Thank you.